You're listening to SIBN Radio, powered by Salette USA TV. Tune in 24-7 at www.415-96radio.com. Follow us on Twitter at Salette USA TV and on Facebook at www.facebook.com. Salette USA TV. Yes, TGIF, thank God it's Friday. This is SIV in Atlanta. I trust that you are doing well. And happy Valentine's Day to you and yours and your family and your friends and your colleagues. Man, I'm telling you, thank God it's Friday. The eastern seaboard was clobbered over the last past 24 hours. Atlanta is still having problems with black ice. Folks don't know how to slow down in this kind of weather. It's Valentine's Day. The games in Sushi Russia is still going on, seventh day, and there's so much to talk about in the news. This is SIB in Atlanta. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Marcus Sillett, a.k.a. The Coach, and I trust that you are loving you right here, right now. Stand by. Yeah, Valentine's Day, and from DJ Cheshire, Is This Love, the remix, ah, 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 I like this one here, TGIF, don't forget to weigh in, weigh in, weigh in, listen in, 347-539-5586, that's how I'll be in Atlanta, live and on demand. Yeah, we got the porch on lockdown. And the word of the day coming up today in Black History. All of that right there. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Select USA TV, Instagram, YouTube at Select USA TV, and weigh in on Facebook, the Facebook fan page, facebook.com forward slash SIB in Atlanta. Check, check. DJ, what you playing right now? Peckish, peckish, P-E-C-K-I-S-H. Peckish means to be ill-tempered and irritable. Yeah, she felt peckish after he took her out for a romantic night. She felt peckish. (laughs) Happy Valentine's Day to you, TGIF. This is S-I-B-N. Yeah, after we 
we come back from the break, this day in black history, and a little bit more. This is SIBN. And my number. The Selectua CTV I Broadcasting Network, SIBN, offers video and audio productions. Dial 678-830-3118, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or call the office at 404-910-5019. Your video production services increases your visibility online. The Select USA TV I Broadcasting Network, producing business videos, location streaming videos, and on-location or virtual production videos. For more information, dial 678-830-3118. 404-910-5019. SIBN, increasing your visibility online. This is SIBN Atlanta. Thank you so much. Like and so follow much. us on Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash SIBN Atlanta News. And follow us on Twitter at Select USA TV. Now let's go right into the studios for today's news announcements and conversations. What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining us for today. Thank God it is Friday. It has been a rough week. Schools have been canceled all over the place. I tell you, it is absolutely a dynamic winter, to say the least. The eastern snowboard, the eastern board, uh, the eastern part of the United States, the the uh, the East Coast, as they say, has been clobbered with snow five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, in some cases two feet deep. New York schools have been canceled. All of the Eastern Seaboard schools have been canceled. Businesses have had to close. This has proved to be Mother Nature's one of one of the fe- most fierce winters I've ever seen. So uh, we trust that everybody is safe. We heard about. The lady that was killed in New York City, I believe, uh, with the snow plow, and we just sent our prayers out for the family. But many people are snowed in. And Atlanta, uh, while they were very prepared for the snowstorm, still in the South in general, people are yet not understanding the art and the power of black ice. And so several accidents are already underway at the time of this broadcast. And Hopefully they'll be out of the way by the time this broadcast is on demand. How about that? Uh, so, you know, we want to send our our uh, encouragement out to you. If you're driving in any wintry mix, whether the sun was shining yesterday or not, please be careful. Be very careful. Winter is not over. And uh, I know your job is important and family is important, but your life is important to enjoy the two. Uh, so, hey, did you hear about those Corvettes? at the uh, uh, classic uh, Corvette Museum falling. A sinkhole occurred right there in the museum, and about eight of those Corvettes fell through the sinkhole. Okay, classic Corvettes sinking inside the museum. I just... When I heard that, I was like, okay, that's that's a bit much right there. But uh, the sushi games continue day seven. Uh, one of my producers is very, very sick, so we will not be reviewing the medal count and all that. Um, but I tell you, the suffice it is to say that U- the USA is dragging behind just a tad bit. Russia's trying to prove a point by all means. And uh, I believe Japan or China is pulling out front in some of the games. So we'll talk more about that hopefully on this Monday coming up on SIB in Atlanta. And uh, we're looking forward to having our producers on board. I mean, our uh, guest hosts on board. We have Mike Roberts from Mothers Against Drunk Driving Atlanta. He is the resource director for the Atlanta region. And so he's going to be one of the guest hosts hopefully joining us next week. And then we have Nikki Morgan. Hopefully she'll be joining us next week. Uh, but it just sounds like I'm here, you know, <laughs> in the studio with a few interns and DJ. Just, you know what I'm saying? But it feels like I'm by myself, but it's Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to you and yours. And uh, trust you guys will feel this one right here. Check. <laughs> <laughs> 
check, 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 check. Remix, remix. <laughs> and let's come back with the uh, Today in Black History. <laughs> Call in house on this SIB in Atlanta broadcast. Thank you so very much for joining us. The remix Beyonce. So what are your plans for Valentine's Day? And if you don't have anybody planned for you, what are you planning for yourself? Hey, we like to... Hey. A lot of people without power in the snowstorms. About almost a half a million people are without power in New York City. And we still have people out of power in Atlanta. But we want to send a shout out and a prayer out to those families. Please don't cook in your fireplace. Somebody burnt the whole house down trying to cook a meal in the fireplace. Lord help us. Beyonce in the background, TGIF, man, turn up. Thank God it's Friday. Three thousand degrees. I ain't worried about them Republicans over there, but they worry about me. I got a home where I ain't butter and another home where it is a thing cheese. Both of women, baby, I make it milk till it drips down your knees. Spit it up for real low. Brain for low. Kid over here, that's up to me. This just makes me feel old. Never thought that we could become someone else's hero. Man, we were just in the food court. Easy got your road. Yesterday, that's the way. Every single morning I try to pray. Grandma and them, they never forgot. Nothing else really means nothing to me. you guys we're going to be back after the commercial breaks this day in history black history uh, we gave you the word of the day you know what I'm saying peckish ill tempered irritable don't be that today this is not the season this is not the time this is not the place
you a spoken you word a spoken artist? Word artist? Now is your turn to be featured. Kelvin mm. Promotions from the CATL show is looking for a spoken word artist to be featured on regular rotation. Regular rotation. If you're a spoken word artist, now is your time to be promoted on Kelvin Promotions from the CATL show. For more information, dial 404. 910-5019 that's 404 or email us your bio and your links to work online global coverage at select usa tv info global coverage at select usa tv dot info got in all spoken word artists nationwide 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 call for all spoken word artists nationwide 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 call for all spoken word artists this has been your CTM gas global artist showcase promotion all submissions must be wholesome and positive please be suitable for SIP television and radio networks you left your mark on me, I want your high love and emotion And let's see, cause you're broken DJ Neil Armstrong in the house You act so different around me What's your Valentine's Day remix? T-G-I-F, T-G-I-F, get it right Yeah, 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 yeah Frederick Douglass was born 1817, and also Gregory Hines was born this day in history in 1946. Bless his heart, he is past now. What an amazing talent he was, acting and dancing and much more, producing and all that. Malcolm X House was bombed before, shortly before his assassination in 1965 this day in history and of course Morehouse College was founded as Augusta Institute in 1867 that's just a little bit of this day in black history Let's Fellowship SQ Entertainment presents YRC Youth Resurrection Celebration Concert 2014. April 19th at the Diana Wortham Theater featuring from Charlotte, North Carolina, Joanna Ross, 2013 recipient of the Holy Hip Hop Artist of the Year Praise Factor Award. And from Johnson City, Tennessee, Robert Hess. Singing since he was able to talk and now considered one of the best gospel artists and vocalists in the Tri City Indies. Because I've been so faithful. And a native of Kingsport, Tennessee. Falcon star, relevant, poet, actor, and an artistic blend of rap and poetry called the spoken word. <laughs> Asheville, North Carolina, DJ Best Believe, the hottest gospel DJ in Western North Carolina. I'm y'all enjoy. 
you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with praising him and dancing. David danced, so we gon' dance like he did. Hosted by Minister William Hamilton of Hill Street Baptist Church. This is the time. This is the hour. Mark your calendar now. We hope to see you there. That's Youth Praise. Q Entertainment presents YRC. Youth Resurrection Celebration. April 19, 2014. At the Diana Wharton Theater in Ansville, North Carolina. Doors open at 2 p.m. Showtime at 3 p.m. This event is free and provided. My parents went to hope concert series. Youth Praise. Are you ready to pray? Yeah, SIBN is going to be there at that event, covering that event live on the ground. And that's a good segue for us to talk a little bit about SIBN Networks when we come back. We're going to share a bit of the vision with you and talk about that. But we're going to be at that event, Youth Praise. That's Resurrection Weekend. And by all means, we're going to you know let you guys know the artists that were there, or we can get some of the artists to go on, in, go on the microphone before we have that event. It would be great. I've already had my producer reach out to the director of events for that particular situation. Uh, but we hopefully will have those artists on the air, if not before the event, after the event, with some exclusive interviews. I've got some great talent coming to Asheville, North Carolina. So SIBN is going to be there in the house, on the ground, with cameras and microphones, filming and interviewing as many people as we can, of course, by all means, uh, taking pictures and all of that. So uh, look out for that for Easter weekend. And then the week thereafter, uh, Resurrection or Easter weekend, uh, you can look for that footage right there at www.sibinatlanta.com. And that's, uh, like, like I said, a great segue into the vision because that's what we do. SIB in Atlanta is about covering your events, your news, your campaigns, things that you care about. And so you can do that. Let me just, before we go to break, let me just say this. If you are a nonprofit organization, you have a public service announcement anywhere around the world, first come, first serve. We can only take so many on the air. But you can send that public service service announcement for your cause campaign or otherwise to global coverage at selectusatv.info that last part is spelled s a l e t t e u s a t v dot info not dot com but dot info all right global coverage at selectusatv.info and if you send that public service announcement please do not send a link for us to go look at something or so- for us to go watch something you must type old fashioned type out your public service announcement who what when where and how if you will use that as a guideline an outline and by all means give us two weeks to 30 days out from the event and we promise you that to the best of our ability we'll announce it right here on sib in atlanta when we come back from the break we'll talk just a tad bit more about the vision you're listening to the sounds and the plays and the djs on sib in Atlanta. I need you to realize and accept that there is only one philosophy that I have embraced under the coach's corner's umbrella, and that is that we are the common denominator in every situation. So I can't blame them, they, her, and him. I am stepping up to the plate, and I realize it's all me. Not that it's all It's all about the legacy for those that come behind me to achieve a height of success that I can't even imagine. This is called the transgenerational shift of mindsets that we may propel ourselves into the generations that is to come and tell them, I won't leave you a mess that you have to clean up. But I'll leave you a principle-centered life that you can celebrate and catapult into more success. Join me on the Coach's Corner at www.415-96radio.com. That's www.415-96radio.com. And follow me on Twitter. That's the only way you can keep up with the coach. That's right. DCC is in the house on SIBN Radio. Tune in. It's not enough to have material wealth. The measure of a man or woman is from the inside out and not from the outside in. Don't trick yourself. You will wreck yourself trying to impress others and trying to keep up with the Smiths and the Joneses. 
It's about time that you start looking at the finish line. And at DCC, we offer the hardest core motivation, daily inspiration for your spiritual foundation that you can find. Why? Because our philosophy is simple. We are the common denominator in every situation. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us right here on SIB in Atlanta. How are you feeling? How are you doing, man? Happy Valentine's Day. Thank God it is Friday. (laughs) Okay, and let me ask you, what are you doing? And if you don't have somebody to do it with, who are you doing it for? Are you doing something for you? You and your guys and your girls, you know what I'm saying? Y'all partner up, you know what I'm saying? Meet up, all that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Don't just sit around and mope about yesterday's lover. Come on, I need some help right there. <laughs> I'm serious. Don't 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 do that to yourself. You know what I'm saying? I know it's hard to get over the hump. I do know it's hard to get over the hump, but don't mope about yesterday's lover, man. Please do not do that. DJ, give me give me give me something ready. Somebody out there heard, okay? <laughs> Somebody's out there like, man. I don't know what to do, man. My love is gone, man. Dude, come on. Turn up. You see what I'm saying? Yesterday, that was yesterday's news, man. All right, this one's for you. This this one's for you. This is this this is A Rez, DJ A Rez Flow, man. This is for you right here. Check, check, check. This is the podcast Now we in my crib right now having sex I ain't gonna lie, you the best Every time we kiss, I feel something in my chest Like, I know you left me And I'm feeling you, baby I don't know, I'm so confused I don't wanna catch your name, yeah I know you left me And I'm feeling you So many people are afraid of love, you know what I'm saying? And that's why the sensationalism of sexual pleasure is so high because so many people have not gotten the the, the hook of what true love is, and that is without conditions. You know, this past Sunday um, over at Cornerstone Church in uh, Snellville, Georgia, uh, the minister there, Reverend Gums, was talking about love without conditions. And how many of us have a healthy view on love? I want, to, I want to promise you, most people don't have a healthy view on love until after they've been hurt, victimized, and they overcome a plethora of problems, and then they realize, okay, the love that I thought I knew as love, authentically speaking, is not love at all. Because love doesn't act up and behave in a rude manner. Love does not keep a record of wrongs and then remind you of those wrongs when you're trying to do right. I need some help right there. Love is not going to showboat and showcase itself. Love is not going to be selfish and take everything and hog it for itself and not share or or bear the burden or share the responsibility. I'm sorry, ladies. I'm sorry, guys. But love is not self-centered. Love is not self-centered. It doesn't focus only on itself. And while we have those moments, you know what I'm saying, while we're doing what we're doing, at the end of the day, it's about love. And karma is a mother. If you're out there sowing everything else but love, but then you want to say, okay, now it's time for me to come on around, settle on down, and now I want love to be my you know what I'm saying, the ground that I walk on. But do you ain't been sowing nothing but player pimps and punk punkish attitudes all this freaking time and just because you got a little game that you can spit at the ladies, now you want to be able to sit there and say, Oh, now it's time for me to sit down. It don't work like that. Karma is a mother. If you do not give love, you cannot receive authentic love. It's very difficult for you to receive it back if you're not sewing it out. So you you the, you out there who have been hurt and you out there that have just discovered that the love that you, you know, receive from your parents or from, from some uncle or whatever the case may be, and has some, some, some cracks in it, repair those cracks with some self-love. Repair those cracks with some godly love. Receive God's love for you. That's without conditions. You know why? Because he cares about you. He is right there with you through the trenches, dude. He is right there with you through everything you're going through. God is not amazed. God is not shocked. And love makes 
the world go around, man. So I just want to encourage somebody out here on Valentine's Day, man. And even if you listen to this on demand, you still need this encouragement. You know what I'm saying? Because I want you to go crazy about your vision. I want you to go crazy about where you're going in life. I want you to go crazy about your life. Let's go to a music break. We'll be right back after this. You got me going crazy. Crazy. You got me going crazy. charge with the company you keep. I tell you, you know what? A lot of times people just don't know how to manage their hormones. The best of us can be the worst. We ain't careful. That's my big brother right there, Ulysses. They call him UG, Jacksonville, Florida. He got me going crazy. After the break, we're going to talk a little bit more about SIBN, how you can connect. This is Coach. Got me going crazy. Show on SIBN Radio. You're ready to share your You're message ready to share your with message. the world. With the world. call 404 5019. Producing your radio show on SIBN Radio. For more information, dial 404 910 5019. That's right. That's right. 404 910 5019. Now is the time. Now is the time. SCGPW. That's right. The Select USA TV Collab Media Groups and Partners Worldwide, now for a limited time, has opened its membership doors to you and yours. If you want to join a media club that matters, join SCGPW today. The Select USA TV I Broadcasting Network offers this club for a limited time to the general public during free of charge today. That's right. SCGPW has 
a limited time window that you can join free of charge. Free of charge. And also those members can upgrade to subscribers, thereby subscribing to the various services and benefits right there on the club media website. Visit www.wesupportsaletusatv.com. That's www.wesupportsaletusatv.com. Yeah, thank you for joining us right here at SIBN at Mind. My name is Marcus Slut, a.k.a. The Coach. Appreciate you guys supporting us. Spread the word. Also, don't forget now to log in to Facebook and uh, weigh in on the fan page there, SIBN Atlanta. If you have music that you would like to be featured on SIBN Atlanta, by all means, you must be an SCGPW member and as well have already sent your information in. We're going to be putting that schedule together hopefully in the next couple of weeks. And we appreciate all of those of you that have already reached out to us. Please be patient as we are moving forward. Listen, let's just talk a little bit more about the vision. Uh, as I was saying on yesterday's show, SIB in Atlanta covers on demand. I'm sorry, SIB in Atlanta is live and on demand and covers virtual and on the ground events. Virtual meaning that we'll do some radio interviews, we'll do some drops if you need them, commercials, video commercials, audio commercials, whatever the case may be, using some of the content you have already collected, adding some of our own flavor to it, whatever the case may be. And also, if you're having an event locally and you can get your some get you some sponsors, by all means we can come out there and simply, you know, record what you got going on, do some interviews, do some drops, take some pictures, all those kind of things to have a memory capture of that event because if you're on the web, you have to understand that the dynamics of being on the web is building analytical data. I should be doing a technology segment because the truth of the matter is a lot of folks are on the web and it's better to do one thing and do it well and then add to that than to be all over the place and you're not as thorough as you should be. I remember the story a while back um, when we had started and I was praying about something, and the Lord said, uh, Marcus, you need to go ahead and get on YouTube. And I was like, YouTube, what's that? <laughs> Y'all remember them days? <laughs> he was like, what, what, what's, what's, what's YouTube? And so uh, I, uh, to make a long story short, we were on a competitor's uh, live streaming competitor's site. We had just logged 1,000 live shows in 12 months. We went worldwide in 12 months. If you Googled our name back in those days, we got 120, 130, 140,000 search results. But the Lord was saying, get on YouTube. And I was like, YouTube? I was like, you know, this technology stuff couldn't all be God, right? And so as a result, we got a letter when we had moved our offices to Buckhead a while back. We got a letter and we got an email from YouTube saying that we needed to move our shows off we got a letter from Ustream saying we should we should move our shows off their servers as quickly as possible. And the Lord had been telling me, go to YouTube, back up your stuff to YouTube. Back up. We didn't know about YouTube back in those days. And so we did not back our stuff up. And guess what? Ustream had to delete according to the policy change that they made a few years ago. Y'all remember, some of y'all out there remember they used to have a 50 gig storage policy. Now they got a 10 gig storage policy. 50 gig is a lot of a, a lot of stuff. We had 12 channels on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> I mean, when God tells you to do something, you go hard in the paint. You know what I'm saying? But the bottom line to it is, if you're going to be online, SIBN is the partner that you want to have for what you're doing. Because you know what? We keep building analytical data worldwide. And no, we don't have that 120,000 uh, analytical, 120,000 uh, search results like we used to because when they deleted over 900 videos, guess what they deleted with it? Keywords, show description, all of that kind of stuff. And so we lost almost 75% of our analytical data, all because we did not follow a directive. And we have followed multiple hundreds of directives going into developing a SIBN network and yet still developing it. But we missed that one directive and lost 75,000, 75% of our analytical data worldwide. But I got a bit of encouragement when a young man walked up to me while I was interviewing Molly Music in Radio One's VIP trailer a while back. And this young man, he had, uh, I was interviewing Molly Music and the guy was like, uh, he was live on the radio, and he said, Marcus Select, Coach Marcus Select. And I was like, well, you know, who, who is this guy? 
And uh, and he said, man, I'm magic, man. I've been following your career since you started. You promote more folks than anyone I know in radio. Magic Man works, I think, uh, for Radio for Radio 1. Yeah, I went down there and said he works for Radio 1. And so what I'm saying to you is it does not matter. It does not matter how small you start. What matters is how consistent are you in your craft online. And I remember Bishop Weeks and Dr. Juanita Bynum, who were my pastors, saying to us, uh, they were teaching us about this online live and demand and what's going to come in the future. And a lot of people don't realize that they were technological gurus, and they were the ones responsible for activating or reactivating my destiny regarding media because I started media in high school interviewing folks, and we'll talk more about that one of these days. But shout out to those of you who are really trying to get your stuff together online. You're trying to present good news. That's what I'm all about anyway. And and you're doing it. You know what I'm saying? But I want to encourage you to partner with SIBN as we broadcast live and on demand. Perhaps you want a radio show. Perhaps you need an interview. Perhaps this should be your home for breaking news regarding your event. Whatever the case may be, we want to be your home for broadcasting and um, and sharing your campaigns, your causes, your values. And that is what SIBN is all about. So I appreciate you guys chiming in. We'll be right back. Are we ready for a break? Yeah, they're looking at me like, okay, Coach, you went way too long right there. All right, sorry about that. See y'all later. SIBN Radio on the Select USA TV. I broadcast <laughs> You're listening to the sounds of your lifestyle improvement station, changing the way we live. I am Bonnie Alabella, a.k.a. world-famous DJ Johnny B. You are tuning in to SIBN Radio, your lifestyle improvement station. I'm telling y'all to turn it up, turn it up. Attention all artists, artists of all genres. Now you can be featured on Gas Global Artist Showcase on CATL Show airing now on SIBN Radio. That's right, all artists now, all genres, so and positive, please, can be featured on Gas Global Artist Showcase. Global Artist Showcase on the CATL Show now airing on SIBN Radio. For more information, dial 4049. One zero five zero one nine. That's four four nine one zero five zero one nine. Monday through Friday, nine a.m. to five p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's right. Or email us or at global coverage at USATV dot info. Aaron, I was able to save you hundreds. Yeah, discount, double check. I know. I'm kind of over that move. So are we. What? It's a little. Uh, Soft. No, it isn't. It yeah, is. yeah, it is. They wanted something with a little err. Like what? Do it with me. Ready? Discount. Double check. I like it. Mm-hmm. It's terrifying. Right? Matthews. What's up, dude? He plays football professionally. Hey, Rogers! Move! Matthews! You can save big with a discount double check only from State Farm. Hey, thank you so much for joining us right here at SIB in Atlanta. My name is Marcus Solette, a.k.a. The Coach Man. The story of how I got into broadcasting is very, very interesting. I'll tell you the crux of it right here. My parents played the same Christian radio station for the duration of the time I was at home. And I'm not saying everything was perfect at home, but I promise you, during our playtime as kids, guess what we played as? Broadcasters. Imagine that. Mr. Coach, we'll be right back in just a few minutes.
you trust me. He just wants to trust back. If you ain't love you, I will leave you. But I'm still here. And your sin could have killed you. But you still here, bro. I don't love you. You treat me like I don't love you. It got people down there that live right. And I don't put them above you. Jesus talk to me like every day. Give them more grace. Satan down that earth still. Trying to get more faith. I'm still loving you. I cover you. When you walk from me, I'm hurting too. When you come back, I'm hugging you. You Love you, but I'm loving you, I'm still loving you, I love you. When you walk from me, I'm loving you. When you come back, I'm loving you. You just love me, but I'm loving you. Valentine's Day to you and yours. Show the love. Spread the love around. You can't spread what you don't have. Anchor in your soul, though. So whatever you do, start loving you. And the only way you can really love you is to receive the love that was shed abroad in everybody's heart for humans. Humans can't love, but they have love from the love source. (laughs) Yeah, we disseminate the gospel in varying ways. The good news of how the anchor of our days it's still behind the scenes. Not pulling the strings, but breaking it down. Like Lauren here, right here. Check, check. DJ Inko in the house. That's how I be in Atlanta. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Select USA TV. Spread the word. www.wesupportselectusatv.com is where our media registry is. If you want to connect with us, collaborate with us, negotiate with us, all of those kinds of things, then join today. It's open for a limited time. www.wesupportselectusatv. And don't forget now, www.sibnatlanta.com. Take a peek at things that we're covering on the ground. Y'all might remember this from my CATL days. Gideon's Army. I'm dedicating this to the believer. The believer in you. Yeah, man. CATL show. Y'all remember them days? Here we go. Just a filthy 
with you. Only difference is I'm saying I got first and all that I do is we perfect now. That's all I messed up you folks ain't true. But we serve a God that be tall. I see it kind of work with you too. Cause his grace and mercy came through for me when them bullets shot about two or three. And I was living foul with no referee. And bad me to bring with my hand and see a two ticket grit and bring her to me. Cause my mouth people, my specialty, he ain't talking to no lame home. I've been there, take it from me. I know it's hard to do right, right? Easy up to do wrong, right? Ain't here to judge, just here to give you some hope for all of them long nights. That God love for everybody. The past you got, he don't care about it. He the fresh start to get in your heart and all the other mess, and don't worry about it. He saved me, he can save you. Take it up to heaven, y'all can come through. Ain't trying to go to hell, cause it's hot as hell. It's getting up like chocolate if I knew. So we got the fresh and fresh on. Cause we never know for how long that we got to live. So this message here, we bread and that's what we know. I'll be in Atlanta, 31 degrees. The high today is 53, 53. The low will be 28 tonight. Feels like 25. And don't forget now, watch out for black ice right there on the highways, particularly bridges. So if you're driving over a bridge, slow down. Slow down. You're listening to S-I-B-N. Was it for his great mercy and got an FIB? Yeah. No sugar coat, my testimony gets best tonight that I'm free. Hold up. In the state penitentiary, uh, more than likely where I be. Yeah. He gave me that wrong 10, that wrong 5, that wrong 3. I'm in Proverbs, 5, 6, same self appointed like 9 days. Yeah. Evangelizing them hedges, in them I cross the side of them highways. Both four telling and four telling. Yeah. By the means of that end well. Yeah. Free to me to like when that keep me transparent when I'm true telling. Bear witness. Sacrifice like any sweet and savor Fight painting pictures of dignity Wasting the risk of savior It gotta be sin free With penny you see you do it Wouldn't be no need for the blood If we had the power to do it for This reason we write it God for that man repent Believe and confess Some of us done lost focus In the benediction I must address Rappers rapping theology Mixed with your ideology Save your apologetics You hold the faith in the apology Just a nobody Trying to tell everybody how you're listening to the sound of your lifestyle improvement station. Hi, my name is Sonia Claiborne from East St. Louis, Illinois, by way of Corruptsville, Missouri. You're listening to the Lifestyle Improvement Station. S-I-B-N Radio. Turn it up. Yes, I be in Atlanta, TGIF, man, what's going on with you? It's Valentine's Day, man, and I'm telling you, share the love, bro, share the love. Y'all know Malachi is a house artist right here, check, 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 check. Father, that's the creation you gave Israel, the Lord who created all of the nations of wealth. Worship the same the wealth. Worship the Son, the Spirit, and Holy Ghost. I vow to only you prostrate myself to Yahweh. Exodus 3, 30, I represent the elite. Illuminate in darkness, I'm more than a Negro artist. Supreme intellect, mathematics and tech. Never three, only one, never disrespect. The king of all kings, master of Elohim, El Shaddai. You can't kill something that never dies. Huh. So get it out of your mind, don't let these liars fool you that they murdered the most high. Huh. So get it out of your mind, don't let these liars fool you that they murdered the most high. My people are little yet, my people don't get it yet. They believe instead of knowing, getting took for their money. 
with heavy faith instead of facts. This is different from reading and researching. I study with master teachers until I master the teachers. Now I'm worldwide speaking. I'm even reaching the heat. Father, protect Malachi. Keep eyes and come back and unify. Before the day of this return, the one and only Yahweh. When will you soon will never learn? It's only one, not three. Do the math. Isaiah 43, study that. For those who are believers, Derek Martin on the house, D1 McRae.
this one. Hey. You listen to the sounds of McCray, Derek Minor. Dear Miss Christian. Oh, that's how I be in Atlanta. This is Marcus Miller, a.k.a. Coach. Happy Valentine's Day to you and yours. Some folks still digging out all along the eastern seaboard. North Carolina still in the state of an emergency. All up and down the eastern seaboard. It, it's just trouble, trouble, trouble weather-wise. So whatever you do, be careful. Relief is coming in sight. Warmer temperatures are expected. And if you listen to this on demand, warmer temperatures have come and gone. <laughs> So shout out to him. You can find him on the network. Hey, we're making some changes in the network, so we'll have some announcements coming forward in a little bit. Okay, check, check. It's Friday, baby. It's you know Music Day, Friday. You know what I'm saying? Turn up. And we're going to have the Coach's Corner coming up from the archives. The number one show on SIBN Network. That's living. As I pursued what I was told, it made my life better. Closer I got, I found out it made my life better. Journeyed on the Star Trek. Begging to be made home. My heart became a black hole. No Captain Kirk, though. Darkness surrounded me. Evil confounded me. Worst part about it, it was all found in me. So what I got to live for. What you tell your children about me in the show? I'll be okay if I never know. And if you never make it to a show. Yeah. 
obeisance in the Lord, then this is not goodbye. We'll see you later. I'm going to see the Savior. In all of his majesty, I'll travel for the maker. When I move on, let the earth hear this song. And know that you are king on the throne. I'm 347 539 5586, the number you can call. Talk and listen. You can listen to the show by that number. And by all means, you can drop us a line right there at www.facebook.com forward slash SIB in Atlanta. Coach, you will own it. That's all you got to say. You know what I'm saying? Give a little praise sometime. You know what I'm saying? Coach, you own it. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Coach, I'm telling my friends about it. You know what I'm saying? Because what we're thinking about doing, we're thinking about doing a money giveaway. How about that? <laughs> I got you that time, didn't I? I got you. Yeah, we can ready to do a money giveaway. I got some folks. folks do well, let me just say it like this: Do I have some folks that want to help me give away some money? You see what I'm saying? I said, do I have some folks that want to help me give away some money? All right, then let me know. Facebook.com forward slash I. Some money right here on SIB in Atlanta. That's what I want to know. We got Tiffany Michelle in the house to calm everything down because some of y'all done left the airway, left me hanging. I feel you done left me hanging. Like all that rap stuff right there. All right, Tiffany Michelle should calm everything down for you on TGIF. Cheat no love. Tiffany Michelle. Michelle. On S I B N Radio. I can't live without her. I'm addicted to her. She's been with me every single night and day through my guilt and shame and still said I love her so much. So yeah, I'm his now. You want me? You want me? Gotta go through hell. Cause I've got you another chance. Love the right way. Cool if you don't understand. Disrespect to this relationship. Love to be there. Love to be there. I'd be in Atlanta. Live and on demand. Mentally tired, musically inspired. Spirit feels so good, my pencils are inspired. Suicidal thoughts, my mind's unlocked. Failure became an option, it triggered the clock. The clock went tick, the clock went top. I opened up my eyes and decided to not. He opened up the door, demons dropped to the floor. They tried to keep me trapped, I came out begging for more. I gave my life to him, he tried to pull me back. You moved it off for evil, but it put me on track. Now I'm further ahead, I'm struggling my way. I'm using my pain for good to bring him glory, cause it's fair. All these words are good for a boss, no more than you are about to hit the surface, and that's why I go I can't believe my eyes, you returned before a night. 
can get my purpose, I abandoned my rhyme, couldn't feel what I wrote, so nothing when I spoke, my words were in vain, no one cares, just let it go, you took away conviction, told me it was his decision, you fed me with my hope, from your plea for my vision, then you tried to make me high, call me a failure and lies, tried to eat my pain with lies, even more pain inside, but greater she in me, than he just in the world, you lifted off no evil, tried to kill me with a girl, depression can't defeat, fear can't be my faith, loneliness must leave, you're denied in Jesus' name, you cannot steal my joy, you cannot have my peace, the God in me will race you out your minutes, now leave, now I'm further red head, I'm shoving in my bed, I'm using my pain for good to bring him glory, cause it's dead, all the good for good for a good fool, never more I'm about to hit, stop the sand, that's why I Hi, my name is Sonia Claiborne from East St. Louis, Illinois, by way of Columbusville, Missouri. You're listening to the Lifestyle Improvement Station, S-I-B-N Radio. Turn it up. Who's coaching you? You. You. Who's asking you the tough questions? Who's telling you, man, you're the common denominator for all of your issues and challenges? All right, guys, from the archives, we have... My life with UG, and then coming back up a little bit later, hopefully, we'll have DCC in the house. Mr. UG, come and break it. She's my life. Happy Valentine's Day to you and yours. Let's see if we got DCC ready to go right into the archives. And we are so grateful that you have stopped by to enjoy another edition of The Coach's Corner. And my name is Marcus Salad. Surely I have my issues, both personally and professionally, no doubt about it. Uh, but I bring to the table some wisdoms and some, some understandings that may help you along the path. And I trust that the scars from my journey in life uh, will earn me the right to speak into your life. And so today we're going to be talking about a love that just won't quit. And I pray that you will be encouraged as we have been doing many sessions on love, the secrets to love. 
and finding love. There's a love that just won't quit. Uh, we'll talk about a little talk about that a little bit. Thanks so much for those on Streetcast, Voicecast, iBroadcast TV, Blog Talk Radio, you stream, Facebook, YouTube, uh, all our block radio programming, S I B N radio hyphen by select USA TV dot com. Thank you so very much for joining us. We appreciate you. And Spreaker, thank you too. Well, here we are once again on another journey, I'm going to be very brief today, talking about a love that won't quit, a love that won't quit. Assuredly, we know we're talking about agape because that is the most, un, that is the unconditional platform of love that requires not the sense ram, but the faith ram. Always remember that if you really want to switch gears on love, then what you would need to do is you would need to switch operation model. Operation model would have to be from sense ram, what a feel, touch, hear, smell, and all that, to a spiritually based love. A spiritually based, I'm not talking about the spooky stuff where you talk the game uh, and you talk to walk, you talk to talk, but don't walk the walk. I'm not talking about all that. I'm just talking about moving beyond. Now, this, you know, and let's, let's just make a note of it right here that the unconditional love isn't stupid. I mean, one time people. You know, just walked up to to Jesus once, and uh, they wanted to, uh, you know, take action. And uh, Jesus' reply was, "Look, now no man takes my life, <laughs> but I'll lay it down." You see. And so, you know, when we start talking, start talking about you know switching gears from the sense realm to the spiritual realm, we're not giving people a license to treat us any kind of way. It just simply means that from an operation standpoint, we no longer depend on the the ingredients of what we can see, touch, feel, taste, and, you know, beyond. Uh, but we have committed uh, to, a princip- or to a more principle-based love. See, the love that I was using or the, uh, even the love that you still have to use, you still ha- have to use, uh, phileo and, and storge and, and all these other loves that we talked about in some of the other sessions, you'll have to go back and listen to the whole uh, series. But uh, even though we use those other loves, we anchor ourselves in agape because we know that we are going to run the risk as long as we're in this earth and we're interacting with humans, we're interacting with people, we're interacting with uh, women and men and boys and children and uh, uncles and aunties, you know, bosses and employers and partners. We know that as long as we interact with humans, we are taking a risk. Love is risk. Because the love is to be vulnerable, to be open, to be sensitive, to reach out, you see. So we know that we're going to be vulnerable. We know that we're going to take risk. It wasn't bad enough that Jesus died on the cross, for those that believe. But then he had to gamble away his clothes. Can you help me with that? It goes to the core of the heart of man. And so the love that won't quit is the love that is shedded abroad in our hearts by, I hate to go there, but by the Holy Spirit. And this is not a Bible study, still inspirational, motivational. <laughs> don't don't run away. <laughs> We're going to be starting our Bible study back up on another channel, but this is still motivational. Get you moving, get you to the finish line. But the love that this agape now, for those that believe, is shed abroad already in our hearts as a form of a seed, in seed form. We water it through obedience and submission, right? And this gives us the wisdoms to operate in the priorities of love. In the priorities of love. There's a lot of people caught up in the romantic the romanticism of love because they never feel special. I mean, I'm just gonna tell you straight. I mean, let's just call it spade a spade. When you finally commit to a covenant of love, whether it be to a child to their parent or a husband to a wife, a wife to a husband, 
brother honoring a sister, uh, sister honoring a brother, you know, anything covenant, that's what it means. Covenant is not just marriage, but covenant is also honoring the family, the, the family dynamic by which it was set up as long as it is not bringing you detriment or harm. And when you honor that from a agape perspective, you're operating in faith so that you could take advantage of the unlimited resources that, that love has. But, but there's a lot of people caught up in the romantics, the romantics of love. And I always say it's the lowest form of expression, eros. To take your body and to mesh it with another or to take someone's virginity or to interact in a sexual nature or sensual nature of any kind is the lowest form of expression. The highest form of expression, expressing love is to, to love someone without conditions and also to love them with the intention and to follow up the activity of having given them the gift of all time and not take their gifts. The lowest form of expression is the culmination, what was intended to be the culmination of covenant, the culmination of connection. We made it something else, but that's another show. And so if you're listening to me and the, the sensual world is all that you have experienced, perhaps you have your reasons. But reasoning doesn't stand up to agape because agape loves you anyway. That's the love that won't quit. You see, uh, I was talking to my dad and we were talking about grace and sin. And we know that people don't talk about mistakes, sin, transgression anymore. People don't even admit that they're wrong anymore. I don't know what is going on. The arrogance that we have, we are surrounded with is absolutely mind-boggling. But the heart is desperately wicked. Who can know it, right? The point of the matter is this. Where there is conditions, there is more agape than you realize. In other words, if you have been judged, if you have been criticized, if you've been ostracized, if you have not been uh, celebrated but just tolerated and all those other things, agape is there for you, but you have to reach out by faith to receive it. It's already a seed in you for those that believe. I think there's even a measure of love in every man, a measure of love. It's like there's a measure of faith. That's just my own personal belief. There's a measure of faith. There's a measure of love in every man. But he has to cultivate it. And the love that won't quit doesn't, it's, 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 it's man, I'm telling you. The, the, you know, one of my favorite thoughts is this. The resources of agape are so vast, they can never be exhausted. But only those who travel by faith can access them. The resources of unconditional or agape love can never be exhausted, but only those who are willing to put down their sense-based living and their sensual-based preferences and tap into the faith that is required to access and maintain any kind of perception operating under and from and through agape. Those resources are vast. Only those who have the faith, you know, it's, 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 an example of that is, is forgiving and forgetting. You, if you're not walking in the God faith, you ain't going to forget nothing. You're going to have a get back. I had a get back spirit when I was growing up. I'll let you go on for about 12 months. When you told it and forgot about the incident, then here I come. <laughs> you know, old gangster type. You know, that's the old gangster, the real, the old gangster type, you know, grew up in the Huff District of Ohio. Even Ohio, but you know what I'm saying? I mean, right now you want to start over. You want to find love. Let's go back to the basics now. You want to find love. And I, I think I mentioned an experience uh, of how that when you when you first walk in agape and you and you get that, that healing, that wholesome and that understanding, it's it's mind boggling. But let me warn you, it's addictive. And it's it's even not only is it addictive, but it's also uh, 
man, you you have you, you know as a human in the earth, you have to dance on the principle, stand on the principle of agape, but you have to carry out your activities and those other loves that were mentioned in other sessions. Historic A, uh, for those that are married, you know, eros, uh, and on and on and on. I know, you know, I'm a little old-fashioned. You just don't charge it to my heart, head, charge it to my heart, okay? But, you know, that's another teaching that I want to do soon called Sex in Context. I, actually, there's a series on, on the web uh, that talks about sex. I mean, I did a series, I think, in 2010 or something like that, 2011, on sex. So if you Google it, you might find it. It's a very high-rated series, a lot of, a lot of views. I think it's on Ustream. But I just want to encourage you that if you're trying to be healed, you're going to have to walk into agape. In other words, you're going to have to, you're going to, have to do several things, and it's difficult. These, these are difficult things. These are lifetime journeys, okay? So don't, don't think that we're, we're, we're not being sensitive here. You're going to have to walk by faith regarding forgiving yourself. It's the hardest thing I've ever that I've ever seen. It's the hardest thing for some reason to forgive yourself. But you work on it. You start on it and work on it. Talking about love now. See, because for the love that you find represents the love that you've defined. You're never gonna find anything outside what you're willing to define. And you don't want to forgive yourself means that you know, that couple with several other you know handful of things, is going to lead you to someone who is not going to cultivate the unconditional love with you. You have to be integral on the inside out and at least be honest. not saying everything got to be fixed, but at least have have had an honest honest conversation with yourself and begin to have that with your potential partner, excuse me, partner, potential or or your covenant opposite, be be it your mother, your father, whatever the case may be. See, but you only find the love that you're willing to define in your own personal life. You ain't, you ain't, if if you're gonna be blind to the truth, you're not gonna find truth, love, truth and love. You may feel that it's true. You may it may feel right, but trust me, agape don't doesn't walk by any. Agape doesn't care anything about any feelings. Agape doesn't care anything about an intellect because agape is not based on what's intellectually acceptable. You understand? Agape is not based on what's reasonable. Agape is based on eternal truths. Agape is based on the invisible, the intangible. I felt something push me right there. You understand what I mean? So if you want to find love in your life, first you have to practice. Somehow or another, you've got to practice, even if you just start with the integrity test and be honest and be open and be, as they say, used to say in the church, and be naked before God and simply tell the truth. I, put your name in there, promise, we don't want to swear, to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. When was the last time you told the truth? When was the last time? The love that won't quit is not going to let you live a lie and, and tell you that that is your life. That's the love that won't quit. The truth keeps peeking back up, poking back at you, frustrating your journey, agitating your thoughts. Why? Because it's now time for you to embrace the love that hasn't and will not quit on you. And some of you have tapped into that, but now you have gone overboard. Let me speak to that, the other half. Tapped into agape, but now you're no earthly good to walk in storge or to walk in eros when, under the right conditions and to walk in any other love. In other words, you have tapped into such, such the juice of agape, you know what I'm saying, that now nobody would want to marry you because you're too high and mighty. Nobody would want to get with you because you're too cocky. You too, your comp, your your your. Oh my goodness, your confidence have turned into cockiness, and so nobody want to get with you, even though you're fine or you're handsome or you you have great math. You know, that no one is even thinking about you because of there. There's an arrogance there. 
there's an arrogance there. But maybe it's based on your accomplishments. Maybe it's based on your you done had a bunch of women, a bunch of men, and now you done turned your life around, and you feel like you're highly favored and all that there. But let me tell you something. Still remember what I said. When you're walking in agape love, this is the premise from which we stand. All other loves still apply respectively. I remember one time I was reading a, a scripture that says, you know, if you're going to have faith and never falter, you have to add things to it. There are additives for faith to work. Faith worketh by love. That's one additive. Faith worketh by self-control. That's another additive. <laughs> you know, faith worketh by hospitality. That's another additive. Faith worketh by affection, brotherly affection. There's a love. You know, I said faith by work is by love, but later Peter breaks it down into faith work is by brotherly affection, by working, by being affectionate towards your brethren, whoever they may be. You see, affection requires humility. Humility requires sensitivity. Sensitivity requires that I know my vulnerability. Vulnerability requires that I understand the wisdom of the matter. I'm not all that in a bag of chips except that. At the fact that I am now whole because of the agape love of which it didn't spring originally from me, but I am or I have received the seed of agape love and from which I stand, I activate all other loves respectively in my life so that I am balanced. And I'm not that we're acting weird and cuckoo and super religious and super pious and so high and mighty that if somebody turn on some uh, R&B from some of these to what the kids like to listen to, you'll freak out. You know, that's how you know you're overboard because then if somebody cussing in your presence or something weird goes down, you'll start your ramblings of your scriptures. Oh, it'll be hard for you to sit there and eat. <laughs> But you'll take it on the job, though. <laughs> With the boss cuss you out, you'll take it. But you know what I'm saying? You got to just be balanced and be honest. Because the love that won't quit is never going to let you go. On the sound of my voice right now, some of you are just down to right depressed. I, I got to find me a man. I got to find me a Well, you're never going to find what you can't define. You're never going to find what you can't define. And the definition has to begin with you. And this is a journey. This is a this is a life journey. This is a this is this is I promise you, if you hear me on the microphone, I am the miracle that no one never expected. Trust me on that. If you hear me on the microphone, I am the miracle that wasn't expected. I am the most uncommon and unlikely person to be speaking on these issues. I felt, if I'm just closing out with a personal story, I felt the ultimate rejection in 10 ways flat as a child. I did not see my way out. For me, dying was the only answer. And some of you know what I'm talking about. You just say, you know what, maybe if I'm not here, maybe that'll, be, maybe that'll make it better. The hostility, did not ex- the hostility did not spring from me. It sprung up around me. I just so happened to be the bullseye target. And to be, to be frank with you, and I had been thinking about this, that I just wanted to tell you that there is a language of love in the earth today that has nothing to do with God, has nothing to do with the love that won't quit, that just says, I'll die. There's a self-destructive uh, uh, love in the earth today. It says, I'll die. I'll do anything to escape the pain. I'll do anything to escape the pain. I've had enough. And I don't care anymore. That's why agape is the love that won't quit. Because its resources can never be spent. As you move forward in your life, there's a love that erases misery and strife. And don't tell me that you have not thought about it. 
Don't tell me that you haven't inquired. Because agape love, once you know its ingredients, is the first love desired. There are those who would who would break down the walls if they knew what agape has inside. But they keep on riding on, you know, the journey of all these other loves. And surely it, it takes them for a ride. But I want you to know and I want you to understand that if you want to find love, you've got to define love. What better place to start than at the feet of agape? Because if somebody else hasn't rejected you, you have. You've rejected your purpose. When you, anytime you wrap your life completely around sensual sensuality, you've lost your purpose, ma'am. <laughs> Dude, anytime you wrap your life around how you feel, you've lost your purpose. Anytime you wrap your life around uh, sexual, uh, your next sexual experience, you've lost your purpose. You are not in your lane. You can't finish that way. And that's why agape is even there for you, for me. It won't quit. I Trust me, I tried to get it to quit. I was like, God, you're wasting your time on me. Even though I want to be free, there is no way your love can help. Just put me on the shelf. I cannot fulfill what you expect. Because in my life as a child, I didn't get respect. I was like, God, you are wasting your time on me. Please end my journey. I used to pray that. God, when I wake up in the morning, I want to be in heaven. I do not want to be here. But that love wouldn't quit. I remember one time I was uh, in a parking lot many years ago and uh, a drunk man spoke to me. Then that Sunday when I went to church, someone said, if God wants to reach you, he'll use the unimaginable. And so I was talking to someone and I said, but the drunk man told me X, Y, and Z. He said, that was God. That was the Lord. That was the Lord loving on you through the through the nonsense of a drunken man. Imagine that. One time I was somewhere, this was many years ago, and a dog came up to me. Sat down and started licking on my hand. You'd be surprised how God would try to soothe you and to get your attention to look his way and to Embrace what he has because you can't define all what he has until you step over into it by faith. But I promise you, I promise you, if you're willing to give it a try, because all this other stuff is going to be empty. These these other loves that we exercise as part of the human experience have to be in context with a love that has no conditions. Acceptance is not even the base of this love. This love says you are. You can do. You can be. We're not talking about be, do, and are the things that bring satisfaction to yourself and make you, quote, unquote, happy. No, we're going deeper than that. We're going deeper than that. Agape takes you deeper to heal you first so that storge can work. In perspective, agape soothes you and dresses you and soothes your wounds so that, so that if you're Mary Eris can work. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about, okay? 
You want to you want to step in that swimming pool of a God, but you want to go on ahead and let it get you really, 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 really ready. The first thing you're gonna to have to do is stop bleeding all over the place. Some of y'all, you're bleeding everywhere you turn. You're bleeding everywhere. And how do you know you're bleeding? You go off every time, every chance you get. You quit with the mouth. You straighten everybody out, as they say in Decatur. Everybody. You brag all the time. You in charge, large and in charge. See, look, agape's experience is a settling one. It doesn't have to prove anything to anyone. It just is. And you gotta dive in that you gotta dive in that journey right there, man. By faith and those of you that are there, you gotta now start balancing yourself out. If you want a husband, you're gonna have to step up off that step up off that agape right there and start putting that thing to, into practice and show some affection, show some sensitivity. You and don't cross the line now. And some of y'all just go to both extremes. It don't matter if what what we say, y'all go to both extremes because that's your nature to test everything. But don't go to the extreme. Don't cross the line. There was a story of this lady, as I call it. There was a story of this lady who kept her virginity. She made a vow to the Lord. She uh, kept, you know, she reestablished. I'll just say reestablished herself. I know some of y'all laughing. She reestablished herself uh, sexually to be uh, abstinent. And uh, for 14 years, well, some of y'all saying, I'm like, what? <laughs> for 14 years, she reestablished her sexual preference to be abs- abstinent. Abstinent. I think I'm saying it right. <laughs> I get tongue tied every. I have not had coffee this morning, this evening, this afternoon. Whenever you may be listening, I did not grab my coffee. All right. But then she finally met somebody. You know, through the, the encouragement of you know all of her friends and everything, she she finally met somebody. And she she went she went beyond the line. She went beyond the line, and the report is she didn't know it at first that she contracted the AIDS virus. Fourteen freaking years, excuse my Spanish, French, whatever you want to call it. And then because she crossed the line, she crossed the line, she compromised. I'm telling you, we all tempted. Now, don't don't, don't get it twisted. <laughs> Everybody faced a certain level of temptations in different ways every day. But that's a heavy price to pay for having violated your personal principles. I'm just saying. And she got AIDS, and then she found out the guy was going around having sexual contact with some of everybody, as they say in Decatur, Georgia. Guess what? He was not telling them that he was HIV positive. What's the love that won't quit, dude? Ma'am, it's agape. From which springs all the other loves in perspective. Whatever you do, take care of yourself.
Ustedes están escuchando SIBN, transmitido por Salet USA TV. Síguenos en Twitter a Salet USA TV o visítenos en www.4596radio.com. TV, I broadcast the music. Well, that almost does it for us. Almost does it for us here at SIB in Atlanta. Thank you so very much for joining us. Got a few more things to do, but we are headed out to GIF. The weekend is coming up. If you listen to this on demand, you might be listening to this on the weekend. Don't forget to download these varying shows. And listen for your enjoyment. And also, uh, it's kind of informative to listen so that you'll know what's going on with SIBN and this, that, and the other. And also, if you know a new artist that is out there that needs some airplay and things of that nature, by all means, you want to go ahead on and get them in the door with SIBN and connect with us right there at www.facebook.com forward slash SIBN Atlanta and uh, let them know, hey, you know, this is, this, is, this is who you want to partner with right here. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to that show. That show is from a series of, uh, oh, my goodness, that that's just some good stuff right there, man. So, I mean, wow, wow. I, <laughs> I can't even begin to, th- I mean, listen, the series, the varying shows that we have on DCC, the Coach's Corner, is absolutely, oh, man, my, it's just mind blowing. Mind blogging. Uh, it's unbelievable. It's awesome. Uh, and I myself have healed so much uh, from the dissemination of the information that I didn't even know was in my spirit, the detox, the letting go, the release. And so I encourage you to visit www415 96 radio and also just keep in touch with us uh, because we'll be sharing more of uh, the culture's corner on us. I'll be in Atlanta. Just to let you know, dude, man, it's possible for you to have a great life. Uh, there, you know, I had posted one time, it's, it took me 30 years to even like my life. I hated it for 30 years. I wanted to die for about 27, 28 of those years. I, I just hated my life. And uh, and finally, I, I realized that I, that I liked the life that God gave me because I started following his directives on how to get that life in shape. So... Hey, I ain't got nothing else to say, man. This is uh, Friday. Thank you so much. Let's go back to Cashman coming up behind her. We got uh, Lecrae. That cut that we played the other day seems to be a little bit popular. You know what I'm saying? A remix. (laughs) Let's go back to Cashman, man. Happy Valentine's Day to you from the coach. Around you. That's what we're here for. We're here to give, you know. But at the end of the day, you gotta make sure that you're okay. It's a brand new day.
partners worldwide, the Rudy Time has opened up its membership to the general public. Now you can collaborate worldwide with media conglomerate SID and television and radio. If you want to join free of charge for this limited time offer, then visit www.resupportselectusatv.com. That's right, we have programs, benefits, service, and so much more to offer to our members exclusively at SCGPW. That's right, visit www.resupportselectusatv.com. USATV.com. That's www. Support S A L E P T E USATV.com. Well, we wrapping things up. Thank you so much for joining us right here on this side being in Atlanta. We appreciate you. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Select USA TV. Looking forward to our producers uh, giving us some more artists and our guest hosts coming on hopefully in the weeks to come. we got some new segments coming up, Talking Points, Real Estate Expert, also some other life coaches that are going to share in. Listen, we're we, we getting pumped up. We're getting ready. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I just follow the directives now. I don't question God on what... I'm supposed to, you know, why is this, why am I doing this? That's I mean, Atlanta, every day, weekday, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So weigh in. Uh, you can also weigh in right there on the Facebook page, www.facebook.com forward slash. And you know what? Encourage somebody else because your time to be encouraged is going to come. You know what I'm saying? We do so much for so many people, but I have to be honest with you. The encouragement, though, from our core folks, it's tight from the public that we serve. It ain't right. So I'm just going to keep it real with you. Give a shout out. Tell a friend. You know what I'm saying? As long as you're giving away free stuff and doing stuff free, folk always want to flock. But then when you start having a fee, folk want to, you know what I'm saying? They want to flee. <laughs> flock or flee. I don't know. <laughs> you know, just I'm just keeping it real with you. So hey, we need your support by all means. Ain't afraid to say it. You can join our SCGPW. At www.wesupportselectusatv.com. By all means, visit the website to listen to some of the radio content. You'll grow, I promise you. Also, we got some special announcements about my coaching uh, website that's being uh, that's going to be built a little bit later on this spring, uh, and I'm going to be doing some coaching one on one. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so I have some special announcements hopefully by uh, next week or in the, in the days to come regarding that. Uh, so if you would like to be coached by the coach, uh, by all means, let me know. You know, email me, uh, marcusalat at gmail.com. Send me a Facebook prime request right there, facebook.com forward slash USA. That's from a personal page. And then, of course, by all means, select USA TV for the network page. All right, man. Hey, that's my time, man. Let y'all close out on this Friday, man, with Lecrae, man. I appreciate you guys keeping it locked, keeping it real right here, man, on SIBN Radio. This is SIBN. Sounds of your lifestyle improvement station changing the way we live. I am Tommy Alabama, aka Paul Iris, DJ Donnie B. You are tuning in to SIBM